Gap calibration. Start by pressing the settings button and enter the password serve GCR. Then press return. Scroll down until you see platen calibration. Press the start button and now you have the four options. We're gonna go gap calibration. Where it says plan instrument size, that could either be 400 if you're going to use the McDonald's gap verification tool, or if you're using the Garland L-shape tool, that would be 80. We prefer to use the Garland gap verif uh, the store verification tool, so we're gonna leave ours at 400, and then press enter. You can see the set temperatures. These should be your standard set temperature for the main menu of the country you're in. So for us, we're using the American menu. It'd be 185 or 365 degrees Fahrenheit and 218 or 425 Fahrenheit. Okay, start. Now that the platen's come down, you can see that it's gonna stop at the two inch mark or about 1.6. So platen set position here when it first comes down is the position where it stops at the lower limit switch or the home switch. That number should be between 1500 to 2300. If it's outside of that range, the grill is gonna come up with an error 64 or an error 63. You have the instrument size here, and then this is the current position. Okay, because we're using a tool that's 400 mils, we're gonna start by entering 400 mils and see how the grill is gapped. When the grill is in the down position, you have to start your gapping. I always prefer to start on the left gap adjuster. The reason for this is the early versions had a fixed gapping point. The new ones now have two points. But if you start with one, you want to check that when you look at the threads, it's within tolerance to start with. So we can see here, we have about half a thread distance. That allows this adjuster to move up and down, but it starts with it being in the right position. So we'll start with this and then we'll make every other adjuster match. We're using the McDonald's gap verification tool. <clears throat> you can see you have one red end and one green end. The green end is all we're gonna use to gap this grill, okay? We're gonna start by going under the left shoulder. Okay, so you can see the platen is at 400, the instrument size is 400, and the current position is 400. If we go up to the top and we measure it, we can put the tool underneath the adjuster and we can see it's very loose. Okay, how loose? It's probably 80 thousandths of an inch. So we're gonna bring that down a lot. But we're gonna do it in two stages. If we come back to the controller, to make sure that we have an accurate amount, we're gonna go up to 800. Okay, that's gonna bring the platen up. And then we're gonna come down to 320. So that tightens the gap. The reason we do that is to make sure the actuator takes a good amount of movement and is more accurate. So we can see tool slides in still, and it's still a little loose. So I'm just gonna bring it down a fraction more. So again, I'm gonna do 800. And I'm gonna bring it down to 310. Now, before we look at the platen again, we're just gonna watch current position, and we're gonna wait for that to stabilize. It won't land on exactly the number that you want, unless you're very lucky, but you don't check the platen until this is stopped. So 308, we're now gonna check it, and now it's pretty close. So now we're gonna use the mechanical adjustments. So now we're gonna check and we're gonna adjust the mechanical adjuster. We can slide in, and we can see it goes back to the first U-bar bolt. That goes back a little bit too far. What we want is a bit of friction when we come level with this gap adjuster. So with a tool underneath, I'm gonna just loosen it and lower it, okay? What I'm looking for is grip in this position. Okay, so now it comes in and grips. I don't know if you can hear that. Just gets a bit of friction. Okay, it comes out, it's loose. So that's perfect. So if you look from above, you can see my gap tool is perfectly in line with my adjuster, okay? 
So now we're going to go and match that with the right hand side. So on the right hand side, we're just going to undo the locking cap and then we're going to bring this down. So I'm just going back and forth. Up, and now it's stopped. Come in. So it's gripping just a little bit out. So I'll just go a little more. Okay, perfect. So now that stops in line the same as the other. Because we've made quite a big adjustment on the right hand side, we're gonna have to go back and just verify the left. And the left has loosened up slightly, it now allows us to go back an inch. So I'm just gonna make another minor adjustment. And now that's back to stop in, in line with the adjuster. So we'll go back and we'll check the right. And that one is close enough. It's slightly further back, but only about a thousandth of an inch. So now the front is now level. So now we have to go to the back of the grill. So to get to the level motor adjustment, we have to press the plus and minus button. And this now takes us to the screen. Here we have the back sensor, the front sensor and the delta. So we're going to use the arrows and we're going to move the back adjuster. But first I'm going to show you the position on the top with the adjuster tool. When you're checking the gap adjustment, you do it from the back, you put the gapping tool in up to the arm and you turn it so it turns in under the plan. You can see on this one it's too tight and it's not going under the plan, so we need to loosen that up. So while you're trying to push the gapping tool in at the back, we're just going to adjust this. So we're going to press the down arrow to lower the plan or the up arrow to raise it. As we raise it, you'll see the back sensor will also adjust. So we need to increase the height of the plan, so we're going to push the up button. So we're going to keep pushing it, and then when the platen tool just slips under, we're going to stop. Okay, so now the gapping tool is sliding under the plan, and that fits perfectly. So now you can see the tool goes in and just catches a bit of friction as I turn it under. And that's perfect. We're not gonna check any other part of the back. Because we've adjusted the back, now when we check the front, you'll see it's just fractionally tighter. Okay, you can hear the friction. So we're just gonna adjust these slightly just to loosen them up and get them back where we started. Okay, so that's all it was and it's back to a bit of friction under the adjuster. Okay, that's now perfect. So now we've capped the grill, we now need to tighten the adjusters. So you need two tools, you need to hold the lower nut and use the other side of the wrench to tighten it. Okay, it should be nice and tight to stop it slipping. If you don't do this, the gap, in, the gap adjusters are gonna come loose and it's gonna change your gap and then you'll be back within a week to regap it again. So both tools, push nice and tight, and that's it. So everything's locked up and everything's set. We're now gonna press the back arrow here, which takes us to our main screen. I'm gonna start by pressing update. Now when you press update, you have to watch and make sure the current platen position also changes. It will always add five. So we set the tool at 400, it's set to 405. That's correct. If you used an 80 mil tool, it would be 85. Once it's updated, you then press teach. Teaching resets all of the sensors and the auto recognition. 